Fighter pilots live in the world of high G. And what is G? G simply means acceleration due to gravity. Right now, sitting or standing, you are at 1G, your normal weight. You have felt changes in G in everyday life without realizing it. When you are in a lift or an elevator, as they call it in some countries, and it goes up, you feel a bit heavier. When it comes down, you feel a little lighter. The difference is so little that you might not even have noticed it. It is typically 1.1G while going up and 0.9G while descending. You will notice it more in roller coasters. So, when a pilot pulls G, the aircraft is turning or maneuvering so hard that your apparent weight increases. At 5G, you feel 5 times heavier. You get pushed into your seat, your arms get heavy and your blood rushes downwards. That is why we fighter pilots wear G suits. These suits fill with air and squeeze the legs and stomach stopping blood from pooling there. This helps keep the blood flowing to the heart and most importantly to the brain and eyes. With reduced blood flow to the eyes, the vision blurs and everything appears to turn black. So this phenomenon is called blackout. This is positive G. Negative G is opposite. When the aircraft nose is suddenly pushed down, your body feels like it is lifting out of the seat. When an aircraft flies inverted, it is at minus 1G. Negative G is uncomfortable, tricky for pilots and demanding on the aircraft too. During negative G, the blood rushes to the head, but you can't squeeze a pilot's neck or head, so there is no G-suit like thing to reduce that. And when too much blood goes to the eyes, the vision turns red, so this is called red out. A human body can tolerate positive G better than negative G, and not every fighter aircraft is built to handle strong, sustained negative G, but they just can. Negative G maneuvers are one of its signature display moves and that is exactly what our pilot was doing on that fateful day. In the next reel, we'll look at what they do at air displays and how tight the margins are.